talking about more in depth into water cooling in my other video. This right here is a really, really great pump. It's an MCP 655 pump. You can get non-variable or variable speed. I would recommend getting variable speed because it makes your uh, basically filling up your loop a lot better because it doesn't go on full speed and create a lot of air bubbles. Uh, another good thing to get would be this right here. Let me flip it up. This right here. Uh, basically, this is a bits power top. Basically, the pump will unscrew and you put this on, and this would give you a lot of mounting options because it has two ins and two out, two outs. Basically, makes your water cooling loop look really slick, and also it basically makes your pump more efficient. Also, another pump to get would be let me exit out all that crap right here. MCP355 pump. This is good for just doing a CPU only uh, loop. Has really good head pressure. And uh, trying to find where the specs are. Head pressure is almost 20 feet, which is really, really good. Also, for this, for the MCP355 pump, you can get yourself this right here is a uh, more or less a dual bay reservoir. You can put two pumps in and you can set up two loops, which is pretty sweet, I have to say. That's what it looks like. A little more pictures. Um, let me find. Also, you can just get this right here. It's a top and a reservoir if you don't want something to take up your drive base. As I said before, having a top will maximize the efficiency of your pump. Next thing a lot of people like to do is spend a lot of money for tubing. I didn't. You can go to uh, Petra Tech Shop and only spend 49 cents. It's on sale right now actually. 49 cents a foot for 716 ID tubing. And it will fit over half inch barbs if you want to fit it on the uh, MCP 655 pump. All you have to do is just boil the ends a little bit and then slide it on, but be careful when putting it on, you don't want to tear the tubing. Alright, next would be um, your water block. A lot of people do a lot of research. Well, this guy right here did a lot, and all credit goes to him. He has a lot of resources where he can get a whole bunch of pumps, or not pumps, but uh, CPU water blocks. And he basically did all the research I would ever need. The last uh, CPU block here. The worst performing is the OCZ Hydroflow. The best, of course, is going to be Heat Killer. But they also have uh, Swift Tech supposedly beats the Heat Killer by like one or two degrees. And if you look at the Enzo Tech Sapphire Revision A, it's about maybe a degree and a half below the HK. And if you look at the price at Newegg, it is only $34.99. If you do have an i7, you're going to have to get the Type Z bracket. Just keep that in mind. But this is the best bang for the buck for a CPU water block. All right. Next is your reses. If you don't want to do a uh, bay res, you can actually get one of these right here. It's a Swift Swift Tech Micro Res Revision Two. Basically, you can mount that pretty much anywhere in the case, like on the side and the drive bay area, but not uh, take up your drive bays if that makes sense. Fan controller, this one right here is the Sunbeam Reobus Extreme. You can hook up uh, six fans, and you can even, if you want to hook up more fans, you can actually get a fan splitter and hook up two fans to one channel if you need to. All right, fans. What I mostly recommend is the Yate Loon high speed fan. It uh, <coughs> pushes, I think, 84, 86 CFM. Oh, I was wrong, it's 88 CFM, excuse me. And if you want to do a step better, get a Panaflow 120 by 120 by 38 fan. The reason why that's a better fan is because it's by, uh, by 38 millimeter, which means it's thicker and also has uh, more static pressure for your uh, radiator.
best place to get your XSPC rads is here. And this is the best bang for the buck. $87.95 for an RX360 rad, which can be compared to the Fieser 360 radiator. Also, let me whip this up real quick just to show you how cheap these XSPC radiators are. You only can get a you can get a quad for roughly two dollars more, only eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, which is really really cheap. I highly recommend using XSPC rads and buy them from Telotech. They can be trusted. I ordered from them. That's where I got my fiance's RS three sixty rad, and they even included a free Balls Energy drink for some reason. Don't know why, but hey, it works, right? Um, what else? I think that's about it for here. All right, same guy again. He did a comparison on the radiators, <clears throat> a whole bunch of them. They're all right here. He did uh, the Fieser Monster Rad, the X XSPC RX 480 Rad, and believe it or not, let me find it if I can. The 480 Rad here actually outperforms the monster uh, Fieser rad when using low RPM fans so 40 rad is definitely way to go if you want to cool your CPU and GPU I recommended this radiator to one of my buddies from OCN and he's he has it and he's gonna put it in his uh, TJ07 case and he got the Enzo tech water block now um, pretty much the standard setup for your loop is going to be res pump rad cpu then your gpu then back to res if you have a gpu that's like that's how you're going to get the best temps but i hope this helps you guys out on doing research for water cooling maybe get you a little motivated to water cooling feel free to comment subscribe and rate this video